Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Uh -huh. There's been a lot of bloopers happening, but we a finally this, started. A lot of this is going in. What? A lot of this is going in. Keep going. Welcome, guys, welcome. Welcome. Um, this is Michael. This is Naomi. And we call ourselves. Height motif. Correct. <laughs> um, we should probably explain that. So we are both musicians, and. Um, there's a thing when you're studying the composer Richard Wagner he well, does this any thing. romantic ah, composer really. ah. mostly in Wagner but any romantic composer Wagner really. he does this thing in his operas where he has this musical idea that represents either a character or an emotion or something and he'll bring it back from song to song etc etc and it's called a leitmotif and so we decided to call ourselves height motif because I we mean, got two varying, very, very, very different height levels here. I'm five one. I'm point six five. one. Point five. Point five. Five one point five. I'm five one point five. The half inch is really important. It is. But anyway, I'm tall. She's not height motif. <laughs> yes. So, um, we already explained who we are. What are we going to do with this channel, Michael? Well, more or less, just going to be a lifestyle vlog. We're going to document, vlog, record a lot of what we do in our normal lives. You know, whether it be just us hanging out, um, maybe possibly even like going on dates, like vacations, that kind of stuff. Um, I mean, really, it's just going to be us being us and you, you learning about us, us learning more about us. Yeah. That's a good point. I didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. Learning more about us through this. Mm -hmm. And it's just something fun that we just want to do. We've been <laughs> talking about doing this for like a year and we finally sat down and we're like, we're going to do this tonight because we've been talking about it for a year. How often will we... That's a really hard sentence to say. Will we? How often will we be releasing, Naomi? Um, we talked about this. Right now, um, we're just going to say monthly just because we have a lot of things going on. We've got work, school is starting up in about a month, I'm moving, he's moving rooms. Um, there's just a lot going on and we're not going to have a lot of time to film a lot of content. But when we do find the time, we're going to like film a bunch of stuff and have a backlog for you guys. But we're going to release it monthly just so like we're not mm -hmm. releasing everything at once and we're like, here, be bored after watching everything. So, expect things monthly-ish. Give or take. Sometimes we'll be doing solo things, um, or just things that are one person's going to be film. I don't know how to explain. But, like, for example, so he's a music major, he's a music tech major, mm -hmm. so sometimes he spends time in the studio, so mm -hmm. I might, like, bring the camera when I follow him into the studio and just kind of show you what he does. Or I might uh, attempt to do a makeup video but it's not really gonna work because I don't really know how to wear makeup hence I'm not really wearing any not really as in like there's nothing on my face but my face you know you always say you don't know how to wear makeup and yet whenever we go out you wear perfectly fine makeup anyway back to the topic at hand yes um now the topic of this video that we can end with before we end end how we met That's... who are we and who were we before yes what? Yes. Okay, so the year was 2016. <laughs> it's like a harrowing tale. Here we the go. The year was 2016. Jesus. And we were both at a community college. And we were... It was February. I remember the exact day. I remember the exact day when I first saw his face. Which is impressive it... because she doesn't even remember what she had for breakfast this morning. I didn't eat breakfast. Yesterday. Nope, nothing? Okay, moving on. Did I eat breakfast yesterday? <laughs> <laughs> moving on. Keep going. The day was February the 2nd, mm -hmm. 2016. Mm -hmm. It was the first day of choir, and I remember... No, it was the first night, because it was night class. Mm -hmm. And I walked into the room, and I was like, Dang! Who is that? He is so cute! Except I didn't say that, because my friends and I had a code word that I'm not going to reveal. 
but we don't use it anymore. It's now defunct. But we had a code word that we used whenever we saw someone who we thought was breathtaking. So we walked into this room That's and I one. said I said the code word and they were like, huh? And I was like, that guy right there, right there, that guy right there. And he's just on his phone, just like not talking to anybody, not looking at anybody. And I was and still kind of am a loner. It's okay. It takes me a second to warm up to people, but once I do, I talk a lot. But until then, I don't talk at all. Nothing. And then, from that day on, I was like, dang, I think I have a crush on this guy because he's, like, so cute. I want to be his friend. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) And then. Well, I mean, I was going to tell my side of that story. And then. So, I don't remember the exact date. I don't remember even what (laughs) month it was. All that I remember was that, um, probably, I don't know, halfway through the semester or something like something in my mind just clicked and as music majors at this community college we had what was called performance lab so in performance lab any music major that wants to or that or that needs credit for it can get up on stage in front of the rest of the um in front of the rest of the students in the music department and perform they can you know perform whatever they want they got some repair they it's like whatever um and they're basically judged by the by a panel of the faculty. Um, so, I think it was one of the first times I saw her get up on stage. And she gets up, she gets up, she stands there, and she motions for the, for the accompanist that she's ready, and she starts singing. And, and in my head, I'm like, oh, okay. Hello. So, my mind kind of said, that, that, yeah, you like that. You like that a lot. <laughs> her voice and her mannerisms and her and her attitude really clicked in my mind. Like they, I my mind was like, "That's a thing you want to pursue." But I was shy and new and didn't know anybody. I usually sat by myself in the back of the auditorium, didn't talk to anybody, so I just. Ignored it. <laughs> oh, if I ignore it enough, it'll go away. Basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so then, enter my best friend. I don't know if she wants to be named or not, so I'm not going to name her. But I know she's going to watch this. Hey, what's up? You know I'm about to talk about you. Enter my best friend. She's like, this idiot, me. And this idiot, me. <laughs> are both idiots. Yes. They can be idiots together. Yes. And they both like each other. Mm-hmm. But they don't want to say anything. So she made it her mission to befriend him and would like walk up to him when he clearly did not want to be around anybody. He would sit on a bench by himself, earphones in, phone on, not wanting to talk to anybody. She'd walk him and be like, hey, what's up? <laughs> and most of the time I'd be like, hi. And I would be watching this and be like, why is she doing this? I'm going to class. I don't want to deal with this. Why is she doing this to me? I'm like a dog. Most of the time I was eating, I was like, I don't, don't talk to me while I'm eating, please. <laughs> yeah, correct. You were eating a lot of the time. You would go yeah. get your food and be like, I don't want to sit in the cafe. Yeah, because I hated that cafe because I didn't know anybody and I didn't want to talk to anybody. So I sat by myself in the hallway. And we're still talked to. Yes. <laughs> and most of the time I didn't appreciate it. <laughs> because Look all where we are now. All I wanted to do was sit in peace, eat my lunch, and just watch videos on my phone or on my computer (laughs) so yeah she would do that and eventually i don't know what kind of like i don't know i don't remember exactly this is a lot of like i don't know but basically there there was a time there was a point about two-thirds of the way through the semester where she comes up to me after we'd finally actually become friends and she says um and she and she says like I know you're single. I want to set you up on a blind date. I'm like... Is that what she said? Yeah. I know you're single. But, well, basically. I, that, that could be a paraphrase if you want to, you know, tell us off, do it. She's going to kill us. I mean, what else is new? <laughs> <laughs> so, she basically said, I know you're single. And I know you've had eyes for somebody. I don't know who it is, but I want to set you up on a blind date. And I'm like... 
Okay. Sure. Oh, yeah, bear in mind, I'd only really been friends with her for maybe a month. So it's kind of off-putting to know that she already had someone in mind for me, even though she didn't even know me. <laughs> um, so I was like, okay, sure, why not? Again, I'd been, I'd been single for three years. I was looking for something. Um, and she asks me, how do you, like, literally, that... I don't remember the exact words or, like, the, the exact, if she said any specific ethnicity, but she said, how do you feel about dating women of color? And I'm like, I'm okay with it. Sure, why not? Um, not even, literally, not even putting two and two together here. I didn't, didn't even see it. Didn't even cross my mind. Because you were trying to ignore it and hoping it would go away. I honestly, at that point, like, I was, I was oblivious. I mean, good. I, I was oblivious to that was her. My point. That was I was my oblivious point. to me. That means I was doing a good job, pretending I was like completely uninterested in you at all, completely. Um, <laughs> so, my oblivious idiot self had no idea that this was being insinuated until what was called our spotlight concert. So the Spotlight concert is just a concert put on by the by the um, music department that features six to ten of the actual music students performing what they want, doing what they want. I think it was like two or three days before, the fr- no, she finally comes back up to me and says, Look, dude, it's Naomi. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> oh. Okay. <laughs> And then, on the night of the Spotlight concert, I sheepishly acted, asked her out, even though I was, like, 21 at the time, I should have had more confidence, but I didn't! That's okay. So, here we are. Yeah. And we went to see... Don't tell me. Don't tell me. We went to see a movie. Civil War. Ah! I said don't tell me the answer to You wouldn't movie. have remembered. I was going to remember. No, you wouldn't. I, if you give me some time, I will remember. Just like I remembered, I did not eat breakfast today. I just need some time. Well, today is one thing. Did you... It was Civil War. It was Captain America's Civil War. And I remember where we went to eat. We went to eat at, you know, one of those places where they cook the food in front of you, and it's like, whoa, you mm-hmm. know? What do you call those? Uh, hibachi restaurant, Japanese hibachi steakhouse, or whatever it is. And I remember we were talking about anime, <laughs> and I was like... Because we're both weebs. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Uh, yeah. <laughs> That's a thing. We were talking about it, and I was like, man... He likes the same anime I do. This was when the anime at the time was good. Now it is no longer good. It was Fairy Tale. Why are you just gonna throw it under the bus like because that? Because Fairy Tale sucks. What now. if there's somebody out there who hasn't seen it yet? Then fight me. <laughs> you heard that. That was an invitation to come fight him right now. If you wanted to watch Fairy Tale and you just had your day. No, I mean, I mean, watch it. If you want to watch it, go for it. I mean, it, it's good for a while. Then it's not. Sorry. <laughs> You're not supposed to... You're not supposed Anyways. Hey, I didn't say when. They don't know when it's going to get bad. I don't even oh, they, remember they just, know it's, they just know it's going to get bad. So yeah, we were talking about Fairy Tale, and I was like, he likes Fairy Tale? Well, I definitely am going to like this guy. And from then on, the rest is history, and here we are, starting a YouTube channel, because... Because we're idiots. Well, that's just a little bit of insight into who we are as people and how we met, what our story is, hopefully what makes us interesting as as a channel to watch, as a couple to watch and look after. So, hopefully we'll see you here next time. See you next time. <laughs>